Recording. Interest appear. Just I just now hit three thousand and forty-seven miles and realized that it's time to do a new review video on the Honda Rebel Five Hundred, guys. Woo! I know that's not real exciting, right? It's been two hundred and forty-two days since my last review. That means since I had two thousand miles. In that, you might think, well, that's not. It ain't rode very much. Well, hell, winter was in there, you know, and the we we was at home a lot. Since, since the COVID struck. But I'll make it up, guys, and I'll get that 6,000 mile review out this fall. Hopefully, maybe. Right? Who knows? But anyway, I'm happy to say, you, you've seen from the thumbnail that, that I have done some, you know, some light modifications to seat and stuff like that. I've got a cru cruise control we want to go on here this afternoon. And, uh, I'm, I'm happy to say that I've not had a lot of problems with the Rebel. I mean, I've, I've done my oil changes, cleaned my chain. Uh, I had that couple of issues with a couple of times when it did not want to start, but uh, it, it just it just stopped doing that. I mean, it just stopped doing it all together. But I know what the problem is with that because it's a Honda problem. But it, like I said, it, it ain't done it in over a year. Um, I do have a I have had a problem. All this, this 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 spring with my clutch pedal, my actual actuator, sticky, and I've had to pull it up and push it down. But that's not once again, it's not the Honda Rebels' fault. It's the fault of road brine where I carry my trailer and my my, my where I carry the redhead redemp redhead reject all winter long on the back of my semi truck. Uh, this year, I'm going to try something new as far as protecting it. I, I did have a tarp on it, but I'm going to try something a little more aggressive in the saran wrap department. If, you know, right? Hey, I think it'll work. No problems at all. I've still got the original tires on it. Um, I, I do got a pair of Pirellis ordered, but these tires are still good. I'd say they'll probably be good for another 3,000 miles. Um, it, it, it goes. It's still a powerhouse. As much as I kind of want to hate it, I still can't hate it. And I probably need to do a video of the five things that I hate about my Honda Rebel, but there ain't five things. There ain't five things I love about it either. I mean, it's kind of like, you know. All right. But anyway, that's my 3,000. 50 mile review. My honest review as they tag them, right? I don't know why. Everything should be honest. But anyway, that's my review, guys. If you want to buy a Honda Rebel, buy a Honda Rebel. But you might want to pay attention between the difference between the CB500X and the Rebel. There's a quite a difference in ride and comfortable. What's, what's more comfortable, right? So go out and sit on something before you make a purchase. All right? Talk to you later. You have a spectacular day. Peace out.